you don't want to miss out on all the fun, make sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. What's up guys, welcome back to Neighbor Games. I'm your host Neighbor and today we are going to be cross-cutting our way back into the TCGO with another TCGO deck. This one is kind of a top tier deck as well, like the Guard of Hour deck that was in the iCard above. But this one features Galissapod GX and it's so good. It's a really fun deck. I'm really looking forward to play it. Uh, I've only played it a couple times, so it's kind of new to me still. I know I just said it was really good, but I've watched it get played. So let's go and show you what the deck build looks like. Okay, so we're going to start with a three, three line of Galissapod and Wimpod. Wimpod, of course, if you have it during your first turn, it has no retreat cost because it's Wimpy. We have a Ranguru just to get the extra draw support. I can't afford multiple Lele's, but we also do have the Lele in there. Preferably you would want to play three of these as well as uh, two Remoraid and two Octillery, but I have one Octillery line going through. We have our Tapu Koko Sun and Moon promo. It is for the flying flip to spread damage and also because of the free retreat because Galissapod's first impression is the attack we're focusing on here. When this Pokemon is put into the active spot from the bench in the same turn, its attack is 90 extra. So 120 free damage just, just for coming up to bat. So that's that's essentially what we're gonna go and work towards here. Uh, we're running two field blowers just to get rid of anything like fighting fury belts or something like that. Two heavy balls because Glissopod GX does have a retreat cost of three, so we can use that. Rescue Stretchers to get one of them back. I'm running a switch in this deck. This was a little mod I put in there I wanted to throw in uh, just to get away an extra way to get him out because what you want to do is you want to attack, have them attack you, either Acerola, Switch, or Float Stone them out that same turn into a Tapu Koko promo, then back up again. That's essentially what you want to happen. Uh, four Ultra Balls, because duh. There's that Acerola I talked about. If any Pokemon has damage, you can bring it back into your hand. No questions asked. All cards attached, of course. Two Bridgets to set up the, the field. Three Guzmas, because it wouldn't be a Glissapod deck without Guzma. That's another way to get switching switcheroos going. Four Ends, four Sycamores, that's standard. Two bodybuilding dumbbells to add the 40 HP. It's already a beefy 210, but 250 is really hard to get one-shotted. It's even kind of hard to get two-shotted sometimes. All right, so then we have three choice bands, three float stones, and then I'm running four double colorless and seven grass energy. We don't need that many energy in this deck. I probably could cut it back and grab some more uh, switches or something in there, but I thought, hey, this is gonna, we're gonna make this work. So now we're gonna go get a match going. And before we get started with this, guys, I wanna thank the guys at Card Cavern Trading Cards. They're my sponsors, they help me out. They have awesome things like trading cards, Pokemon trading cards, codes, etc. Just go check them out, they're awesome. All right, first battle jitters, let's get this out the way. Black Rhino Punch! Oh, that's a cute little Chansey coin, I've never seen that before. Ah, uh, this is one where you kind of want to go first too, but that's okay. That's just fine. And you're probably going to mulligan a lot. There's a lot. There's not that many Pokemon in this deck. It's all about the items. It's all about it. So, that's okay. We can mulligan. Wimpod's not the best to start out with. But I think that's probably the best bet. And then we get Lele out here with a Coco, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put the Guru down. The Guru comes in handy sometimes. Okay. So he can't knock me out first turn. I can retreat. And as long as I have one of my Tapu Cocos, we're good. We're good to go. So what kind of deck are we up against? Ooh, Umbreon with the Shadow Bullet. Cool. Katonix loves Umbreon, and I need to build her a deck. What I want you guys to do is jump over to her channel if you got a second, and tell her that you want her to play TCGO online, because she's really good at it. She's really good at it. She doesn't pull punches either. I pull punches from time to time because I feel really bad about pe you know, taking people out like fully. Oh, I love the Generations Mew. 
It's so cute. Let's see. So we've got a switch. That works really well. So we're going to Ultra Ball here. Uh, I think... I think I'll get rid of both of these items. I don't know if I need it. So, oh, we prized Tapu Lele. Oh no, this is bad. But we're gonna keep trying. So we're gonna put this up here. We can retreat into that. Let's go ahead, do that. So I can spread some damage. Um. We're gonna guru first. Just see what we get out of this. That's that's fine. And then I'm gonna end. Because I may have gotten something I needed with just the end. Ooh, float stone. But I'm gonna hold on to that float stone. I'm gonna go ahead and put bodybuilding dumbbells on the Tapu Coco. Oh, it doesn't work. Duh! Ha! I'm an idiot. That's awkward. Oh well. Well we're gonna flying flip for 20 across the board. That's okay. So next turn, I need to attach to Wimpod. Yeah, I need to attach to Wimpod. Probably Sycamore. And I'm gonna float stone on the Wimpod as well. Hmm. I don't see people play Energy Lotto that often. And you missed it? Oh, that sucks. So what are we using? That's cool. Okay. I could, I'm going to go ahead and attach to the Wimpod here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna early ace a roll of this. Throw that up there, throw him back out there. It just keeps that from going on. It <laughs> fixes my mistake there. Um. I'm gonna retreat into Coco. It's gonna get that back, but uh, it's not necessarily what I wanted to do this turn, but it, it works better. So I'm gonna definitely have to two shot this with. Oh, that's a smart move. Flying flip. Hey, look at that. It's like he stole that from me or something. Heavy Ball, that is clutch right there. We're gonna go ahead and get Galissapod out here. Galissapod GX. And then looks like this turn, we're gonna be able to, I'm gonna go ahead and attach here. And Sycamore, because I'd like to see what kind of other cards I could get here. Hey, Bridget, that'll come in handy next turn. Um. Do that. I think that's that's safe. All right, we're gonna retreat because we do have a switch next turn, and we also have the float stone. If just in, but just in case. Oh, he scoops! I got it set up too quick. Okay, and this is another one. This is another one people just don't want to deal with. But that's okay. <laughs> we're gonna try to get another one. I'm gonna try to get it set up the right way this time. Oh, they have the advantage. This is Guard of Hour. Oh no, I don't like a Guard of Hour. But luckily, you usually just play one energy, so yes, I would love to go first. Oh, Rimmeray, that's terrible. Ugh. I can always pay that retreat cost. Maybe I'll. Maybe I can Lele. Oh, hey, what's up? What's up, man? How you doing? Let's see, how many do I get to? Yeah, well, it looks like I get the one. Ah. Hey, Bridget. Bridget is bae. Okay. So I'm gonna attach here because we're gonna pay the retreat cost for that. We're going to one. Two, 
And I usually would grab the guru here, but I think it's safer to do that. And then hold on to the float. Hold on to your float. We're gonna throw out Tapu Coco here. And here we go. This is the turn where he could he could set up. Now if he, yeah, okay. I was gonna say if he doesn't get things set up this time, I could easily come in with an early win. But it looks like Ooh. Looks like we're gonna get something out this time. Yep, we see Guard of Hour. Guard of Hour is such a good deck. It's such a good deck. You can't, you can't. You can't fight it. You have to love it. Tapu Lele. I'm going to say he's going to Tapu Lele Bridget. And then we're going to see a bunch of Ralts come out to play. I could be wrong. Usually not. An N. Okay, this isn't good. N's not what I wanted to see. Could be worse. It could be worse. Come on, don't give me a dud hand, babe. Do good. Hey, hey, I will take it. I will take it. I can. Ooh, okay. So we're gonna do this, this. I am gonna get that first attack. We'll go ahead and throw you here. I'm, I'm down for losing one of them. I'm really not down for losing the Field Blower and the Guzma, but I really, really, really need to get that Float Stone or a Switch in here. And that did not happen. That's okay. Let's see here. I can get out a second Galissapod. We'll do that. Then maybe we can draw into switch. If not, I could start working on building up these other attacks. But we're gonna retreat here into this. Gets the first knockout out of the game. And we gotta hope that they don't have a rare candy. Let's see, what do we get? Switch! Coming in clutch. So we get to see an abyssal hand working here. Hey, hey, look at that rare candy coming up. So Guzma, Guzma's gonna work in my favor this time because, let's see. I can crossing cut. Oh, that's fine. If I choice band, I can cross and cut and knock out Lele. I think that's the smart move on this one. But I also don't want that to build up too much. Like that's the worst thing. Lele is bad, but Guard of Hour is really tough once it's got a full Ah, oh. and then they're probably going to Sycamore or N, and I'm going to lose everything. Oh, man. All the speculation I make, I'm just like, ah, it's super fun. It's super duper fun. Oh, okay. You're going to hold on to that. So, let's see here. I think, I think I use, no. No, I need to, I need to try to take out that Guard of Hour. So we're gonna Guzma, get Guard of Hour out. Bring that out. And to attach here, go ahead and attach, wait. Attach that there, retweet back into that. I'm gonna go ahead and Get rid of both of those and get him out so I can abyssal hand. Good move, neighbor, good move. Ooh, K. 
Okay. So that that works. That works just fine. I got an end for next turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my crossing cut. And we're gonna go with Tapu Coco. Oh gosh, another scooper! Another scooper! Did I take out the one guard of hour you had? Oh, I can't even. All right, guys, we're gonna try for one more again. <laughs> if it's just scoops all day, it's scoops all day. All right, last chance. Another advantage. A guard of hour deck could not take it. It was too afraid. Ugh. All right, calling the coin flip. Heads. Boom! I am on fire tonight! Come on, let me draw the Tapu Coco. Wimpod's okay. Wimpod is okay. Now, hopefully we don't whiff on the Tapu Lele. By the way, guys, if you have any extra Tapu Leles you want to get rid of on the off chance, I will take them from you. <laughs> Uh, and I mean you could also take and if you wanted to donate to the patreon Which is in the description below you could do that because any money I do goes back into the channel It helps out everything out and also you get some cool rewards There's different tiers and you can even get some Pokemon cards packs of Pokemon cards and you could also get uh, Pokemon codes and other stuff like that. I have no additional Pokemon um Ooh, ooh, that's good. So we're gonna go ahead and drop Acerola and I need that N. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of two Ace Rolls. I still have two more. Please don't whiff on the Lele. Woo, I did not whiff on the Lele. We hold on to the Heavy Ball till next turn. Yes, I would love to search for a supporter. All right, Bridget. Here we go. So I can get a Wimpod, a Guru, and... Tapu Coco out. So another Wimpod, a Guru, and a Tapu Coco. All right, we are going to retreat into a Coco. And... I'm gonna hold on to that till next turn. Hopefully I don't get end. Speaking of free Pokemon cards though, I'm doing a giveaway. Again, of course. Every month we have a giveaway here and there's another special thing coming soon, you'll see. But for this month, you can win the Shining Legends Mewtwo pin box. All you have to do is comment what, or leave a comment answering the question of the day, which today is, what is your favorite TCG deck or TCGO deck currently in standard. Leave all of those answers down below and we can move forward with that, it'll be awesome. Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing something here. I'm seeing something here, it could very well be. Ah, uh, Bridget. I love the full art Bridget, it's such a nice card. I'm actually gonna hard him on that one. I love a full art Bridget. Um, are we looking at Garbodor? This is one where I may have to watch my items. There's Drompa. Espeon Garb. It is definitely Espeon Garb. This is a hard deck too. Ah. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Buddy. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab a Golisopod. Golisopod. And we're gonna start in with these first impressions right after I end and get rid of anything that he may have over there. Okay, yeah, I could take that. I can Ultra Ball the Ultra Ball and Bridget away because I don't need another Bridget. And we'll go ahead and get a second Galistapod ready to go. And I still get to Guru. Hopefully they do not have a Field Blower. If they do, oh well. It's life. I have a switch. 
I do have a switch. All right. So first impressions coming up. How are you doing there, trash bag? Trash bag, old friend of mine. What are we pulling here? Acerola, that's cool. Acerola can help too. Hmm. I'm gonna say Drampa. Drampa's coming out to fight. You gonna come swing on me? Yep. Drampa's coming out to swing. But I don't think it can do too much. It can Righteous Edge, but I don't have any special energy right now. That's it. It can Big Will GX. I don't think Big Will DX this early in the game is a good idea. I believe they're probably searching for energy. Uh, they were searching for energy to get Espeon out. Espeon is now coming to the field. What are we looking here? Po Town. Oh, look at that. I need to get rid of Drompa. And I need to get rid of him quick. Hmm. This is a tough one. This is a really tough one. I could. Oh, and there go abilities. But luckily, I'm not using. I'm not working on using any abilities on this one. 150 damage. I can ace a I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna ace a roller here. Yeah. Because then we can attach here. Let's go ahead and throw that out. Um, body building dumbbells there. All right, first impressions, here we go. 120. So he's definitely going to be able to hit again next turn. He's probably going to start setting up his Espeon. This is a good deck. This is good. I, want, I, I didn't want someone who was just going to scoop as they got behind. And so, of course, we're going to see a retreat. Weird. So, let's see. Ah, uh, ha, uh, ha, uh, ho, tap you cure. Hmm. That was a smart move. That was a really smart move. But what we're going to have to do is do this. Yeah, I know. And I think... Guzman on this is going to be the best thing to do. Yeah. Try to take this out. Because that is our biggest threat at the moment. And until I get a DCE, there's really nothing. Like, I could almost take it out with a DCE. But that's not going to happen here. I can this next turn. He's going to, of course, big will again. Oh, N. What can I get out of this beautiful N? Give me something good. Another N. That works. I think I would much rather N this turn. Hey, look at that fill blower. Fill blower for days. Sucks. I wish I had another float stone. Okay, so let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and throw this on here. We're gonna float him back. Go ahead and get rid of these. Turn my abilities back on. That's fine. Float here. I'm gonna Rimmeraid because I can instruct for one and N. 
Okay, so it looks like it's N no matter what. And a DCE. So what's gonna go down here is We're gonna first impression. Yeah. Retreat. First impression knocks that out. Two more prize cards. What do we got? Heavy ball and a switch, just in case they have another field blower. One psychic energy can really put me down right now. See. Yeah, I got quite a few item cards. I don't even feel like counting it because I know that's what he's gonna go for. Oh, fudge. Fill blowers for days. I have no more floats. You took my floats. You took my floats, oh my gosh. You know, Guzmo would really come in handy right now. Oh, not the end. It's the end of the world. Puns. I'm sorry, guys. Float stone. Oh, that trash lynch move is so good. All right, this may not this may not end well for us, guys. We got two scoops, but. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, I need a little bit more. I need a little bit more. So let's go ahead and get rid of these. I think that's all I can get rid of. Do this here. We're gonna go ahead and Guzman. I think getting rid of the Lele is gonna be good because that gives me two cards. It's already got damage on it. We're gonna go ahead and instruct for three or two, sorry. DCE would have come in real good here. I can heavy ball. Hmm. So I next turn I will sycamore. We do not get the knockout here, do we? No. It's only 150. They're gonna have to pull off some elaborate stuff here to get someone out. Or play one energy. Or retreat. That's probably what we're gonna see. We're gonna see a retreat here. And then I'm gonna have to DCE. Yep. Rip. Rip me, man. Hey, that's cool. I can take an N. I was gonna Sycamore. <sighs> hmm. Just knock me out already, dude. I don't care how many garbage doors you've got. SP on garb, it's not... Okay, so now we have to push to our next fighter. Which looks like it might be Lele, but I'm going to send out Coco on the off chance that that works. I believe we've prized our Wimpod. I'm going to just burn that. Ooh. not going to be able to ah do I chance it I chance it I'm gonna play the risky play here it's my last oh come on give me something good here we go 
Son of a horse. Horse shot -a. Okay. So he's probably got a Guzma. That's why he GG'd real quick. Um, if so, that's okay. That's totally okay. This was a really fun match. Ah. Hmm. Trash of land still making this huge dip into the game, man. Yep, he's got the Guzma. Oh well, that was a good game, guys. That was a really good game. We got two scoops, and we also got one defeat. It happens. It happens sometimes. So you guys stuck through it for me. Uh, usually, or I'm, I'm working now to where I don't open packs at the end of this, so I save them up. But I do have two random packs here. I'm gonna open up real quick. Let's see if we get anything cool. Just to add a little, add, add a little added bonus to the end here, because that full art Charizard would always be great. Don't ever open up enough evolutions. Radicate. And then Steam Siege. What are we getting from Steam Siege? Steam Siege is so good. It was such a good set. I really wish I could have been a little more into the set as it came out, but I had a Weavile. Tearaway is a really good Weavile. So guys, that was the Galissapod GX deck on the TCGO. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Remember to answer the question of the day. What is your favorite deck currently being used in the standard rotation for TCG, TCGO, what, what have it, and stuff like that? Answer that to enter the giveaway. Again, I want to give a shout out to Card Cavern Trading Cards for my sponsorship and everything and helping me out with TCGO, Pokemon stuff. It's awesome. Go check them out. If you like the video, though, give it a big old thumbs up. And while you're there, hit subscribe for more awesomeness. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you real soon. Catch you on the flip side.